Hey, how's it going? John Tech here. Welcome back to the show. Uh, good news. Uh, a while back, I recorded a video where uh, my kids' toothbrushes had some batteries, or the one toothbrush in particular had some batteries. I go, uh, the good guy toothbrush is sort of still good. Maybe not, actually. No, it doesn't seem like it's going at all. And the bad guy toothbrush was definitely, uh, yeah, these are like Star Wars good good bad guys. I think it's like Kylo Ren and Rey are the two characters but my kids know more as uh, Luke Skywalker and, uh, and Darth Vader. So, but anyway, we ordered some new LR44 batteries, and they just literally came in through the door. Hey, about 20 of them. This cost me roughly, I think, $5, which is outrageous because I could remember as a kid going to the store and buying these things, and these things were like 5 bucks a piece a while back. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Yeah, it is what it is, too. So, anyway, um, so I'm going to take a couple of them out. Uh, so, interestingly enough, too, I'm, I'm using a little bit of a new setup right now. I got myself a digital multimeter that actually displays it displays the information on the screen, which I, I thought was really cool. It's something that we do a lot of work in electronics with multimeters, and sometimes it's just been hard to show this. This is a BK Precision Test Bench 390A is what this is in comparison to the... Uh, in comparison to the uh, uh, typical um, Fluke 87-V that I normally use, which I won't stop using that. I, I do like that multimeter quite a bit uh, in terms of what it is. But I, I got the new one in here. Um, the really interesting thing that happened, so I don't know. This this actually really scared my, my six-year-old quite a bit. We were just sitting here. As you know, I did, I did take apart the, uh, the uh, toothbrush from earlier, and so this is uh, completely taken apart. Uh, but I don't know if you noticed this. So... For whatever reason, one of the batteries was just sitting there, just kind of popped. And it popped with a fairly loud snap, like something that something that kind of scared the kid out of the out of the seat, so to speak. So I'm not gonna touch this too much further with it on here, but I wanted to just kind of show you that the uh uh something something went wrong here. I don't I don't know what. I don't know what it was. It, it definitely wasn't like sunny or too much excessive heat or anything like that. Nothing seemed at all like it was really wrong. And the other two still seem like they're perfectly fine. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the batteries in the original uh, Darth Vader or Kylo Ren uh, uh, the lightsaber <laughs> toothbrush. Um, put the... Uh, Put the old ones, uh, or put the new batteries back in, put the circuit board together, and make sure that it works correctly, because uh, that was really kind of surprising that that uh, did what it did. Um, also, I looked up, these things sometimes say HG free, like these see, oh yeah, the, okay, so these, are good, so these new ones that I've got in here, these new ones, they say 100% HG, or 0%, sorry, 0% HGPB, so HG, that's, uh, that's mercury, that's bad. That's a restri restrictive hazardous substance. You don't want that stuff in there. Um, but it also means 0% PB. That's 0% lead. So there's no there's no lead or mercury purportedly on the inside uh, of these of these batteries here. So uh, let's uh, let's plug these guys back into the uh, into the original circuit board, which I've got in my hand here, and uh, let's see what we get out of here. So I'm looking at the circuit board right now. I've got a a bat plus on the left hand side and a, a bat minus on the right hand side so the minus side of the battery which uh, I'm looking at the batteries right now looks like I mean that says China plus is what that says and I don't see a symbol on the other side so I'm gonna go into the assumption that the positive part goes on this side of the fence and that the negative part goes on that side oh and just to show you that the uh multimeter software is working because i don't know i just think that's really cool i think that's i think that is really it's really really cool in terms of uh how that looks so i'm going to test out the software for the first time with the new set i think these are supposed to be like 1.55 1.6 volt batteries. you can see that 1.6 volts uh, on the screen so it's a uh, good to see so we'll put all three batteries in and, uh, well, I saw a light pop on. I'm trying to snap the... I, I, I'm having a hard time pushing the outside batteries into place once they're in. So I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
insert it, this one into like the center of the two of them. There we go. And there we have it. At least turns back on again. The nice red glowing LED. Now we're going to put that. It says, you know what I have come for. Which is, uh, I don't know, my kid, my kid loves Darth Vader and all the rest of those. I, I couldn't take any of that. <laughs> I couldn't take any of that away, you know. Every kid's got to like, uh, although I think she still, I think she still says to this day, um, Dark Vader is uh, what it is. Which, I mean, to that extent, I mean, he's wearing an all black uniform. So, I mean, that that is very much what it is. Now, let's see. I've got the one thing here. I'm trying to make sure that the speaker, I'm going to make sure I'm zoomed out as far away as I can. I tried to get a, um, I tried to, excuse me, I'm trying to do a show here, Mr. Toothbrush. Um, I tried to get more of an overhead camera just so that uh, people can kind of see. I've had that request from a couple of folks. they like, hey, can we see a little bit more about what you're doing while you're doing it? Um, and so I've, I've stopped using my laptop camera. I'm trying something else out right now just to see if it works. Leave a comment down in the comment below. Is this a better way of looking at what I'm doing, what it is that I do over here, <laughs> teaching what it is that I teach? There we go. Okay, so we've got to... Uh, Line up the hole. Now make sure that the button works. That is louder than where it was. Is there some sort of a acoustic amplifier? Is that like an actual speaker box on the inside of this thing? That is cool. <laughs> that is really cool. All right. So now we got to put the screw back in. Now, when this thing snapped, one of the screws went flying, I think, way, way off. I only have one screw for this right now, but I think I've got something where I can probably dig around to get some other screws here. This is a Phillips head screwdriver. So I'm going to use my magnetic bit and same one that I kind of had the last time here and put you off in a way here. Man, that is like a lot louder than where that was. It must be some sort of an acoustic chamber on the inside of that. I can't imagine anything else with that. Okay. And there we go. It turns off right there. And now we've gotten back to... Now the other... Well, that other side needs to go down. I might need to go and hunt down where that screw happens to be. And I don't see it here right now. So I'd probably have to go and potentially maybe even find that around somewhere but now now that I'm hearing it the other one was sort of faltering just a little bit here so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take the other circuit board out of the other um, lightsaber which I've got right here and because I've just got all these extra batteries and I, I kind of know a little bit about how to do this and I just want to take the other previous ones out in case they pop and explode last time I'm not sure I'm really not sure I am really not sure what did that um, the last time um, completely unsure of, of what actually makes a, uh, a a battery like that explode I assume it was maybe like it was hot or it was shorted out like the terminals may have been shorted out but even then it's just been sitting on a piece of plastic it hasn't been anywhere else whoa that just that came out quick that came out still attached into this part of it there. Yeah, oh, it's a different circuit board. Take a look at that. So the good guy's circuit board, or good girl, good guy, I mean, like the, the good person, I'm not gender specific or anything like that, whatever. Um, the batteries are all clumped over on this side. It actually appears to be like the capacitors are all over here. It is still glob top. U1 is still glob topped over. There is some solder joints on the inside of it. This has a different plastic piece on the back of it. So this is a different model of sorts. And then here is the LED on this side. When I press this, it is a blue LED. You can see that I pressed that on there and it was having a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to take the... Pre well, they just kind of fell right out. <laughs> Jeez. They just really just plopped themselves right out. Just to measure what their voltages are because... I've got a multimeter on the screen. Look at me. I'm the coolest cat this side of the block. So we've got one battery that looks like it's measuring 1.48 volts. We've got another battery that's measuring uh, 1.48 volts. These are supposed to be 1.5 volts, and I wouldn't—I really wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, they all have like a 
green corrodedness on them. Remember in the last video, the one battery was like, one battery was having a problem. Like, one battery was just lower than all the rest of them. And I wonder if that's the one that, that popped. So that's kind of a good thing that that battery's not leaking all over the inside of my kiddo's toothbrush. Uh, that's actually a very good thing. That is comforting. As a parent of children, that is a comforting thing to know. Oh, gosh, I almost lost the battery over there. Excuse me. All right, so now we're going to take this, oh, excuse me, that guy out as well. There we go. Take a third one out. It's using six of the 20 that we got. Ah, uh, let's take a look here. Is this battery plus battery minus marked at all? I actually don't see a marking for it. I see a minus sign here. I do see a minus sign there. But I don't see anything else that indicates which side these things actually go on. Nothing else here. Nothing else in the plastic. Well, minus side goes in here. I sh maybe I should have taken a picture of it before I took it out. I would have thought they would mark something like that. But then again, I don't know. I, I don't make these things. So let's uh, put the batteries here. Battery here and the uh, last battery in place here. We'll do a quick test with the pushing of the button. That did not work correctly. So maybe that is not the minus. Maybe it goes in the other way. There we go. That is not marked in there very well at all. In fact, this circuit board has no markings that I can see that indicate which side of that is which. None. Okay, so one of the other things I'm going to do real quickly is I'm going to bend the battery clips just a little bit because they are having a problem holding the uh, holding these things down. So okay, so the plus is actually the plus is on the side where the only minus is the only minus that's on the whole that's on the whole part of the circuit board, and that's where that's where the plus goes. Brilliant design. Whoever, whoever did that. Thank you. Thank you, whoever provided that, that particular part of it. Okay, so now we're going to slide this guy back in. I will not give up hope. I will assemble you entirely. It's grabbing the screws that are... i got to reassemble the lightsaber. <laughs> Save the universe. Protect Yoda. Whoever else needs to be protected. Oh, see, he said, I'm not done yet. I think that's so cool. It's encouraging kiddos to brush their teeth kind of the way the way that they are. Excuse me. Can you just, can you go? I'm trying to do this kind of at an angle so that you can all see me doing it on camera because it's so important to be able to see stuff like that. It really is. It really is important to be able to see see stuff like that. Uh, but the next thing I'm going to do after I assemble the uh, other lightsaber together is, uh, there we go. Put both lightsabers together here. A little bit of a twist. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go hunt around for that second screw or try to find some sort of an equivalent that can go into place uh, for this. But yeah, a successful, successful battery change, so to speak. Do you have other things at home that you would like me to take a little look at underneath the microscope and uh, see what's there? Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to have anything else kind of put inside there. And if not, let me know also what you think about the uh, the new setup that I've got here. This is kind of a kind of a newer thing for me. I'm hoping to be able that you can see a little bit more about the one of the some of the stuff that I'm working on here. So hopefully this is providing a little bit more insight. Uh, I don't know. Let me know if uh, in the comments. All right, I will see you on the next one here. All right, bye bye.